Oh, hey guys, uh, welcome to a new episode of Wine Reviews. Now, uh, recently I got my uh, tax return. You know, uh, um, I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm, uh, I'm no longer unemployed, so, so I actually work a job now and I uh, got my tax return recently and it's, it's made me a real pretty penny. Like, uh, I'm, you know, I actually feel kind of rich right now because. Uh, the money they were taking off from me in tax, I've actually got that back. So uh, I've invested it in uh, in this new series I'm signing right now on the, on the first episode. Uh, well, actually, it may it may be in continuation of wine wine reviews, but uh, but uh, yeah, w welcome to a new episode of uh, wine reviews. I bought a bunch of booze today that I'm going to be uh, re reviewing, and, uh, and I'm going to show you how it is now. Uh, I've got three particular drinks I'm going to review in today's episode. I've got uh, Frosty Jack's uh, Cider. You can see this bottle's pretty much empty because this is what I've already drank today. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've also got uh, Bulmer's Crush Red Berries and Lime. And I've also got uh, Sour's uh, Apple Flavour, the original Sour's Apple. <coughs> and uh, today we're going to be... Re uh, and, uh, Let's first of all start with uh, Frosty Jack. Now, uh, I used to drink this uh, all the time back when I first started drinking because it's like the cheapest, uh, one of the cheapest drinks you can get. This particular bottle is uh, two and a half litres and it is uh, seven and a half percent volume. It's just, let's just look at the uh, sticks here. Uh, it's two and a half litres. It is uh, seven and a half percent strength volume. And uh, two and a half litre bottle contains 18.8 .8 UK units, or 2.1 units in a glass if you pour that way. But I just pour into my glass and just drink it as it is, and uh, tells you all the usual crap and all that. It's uh, Worcestershire, UK, which is somewhere down south. I don't know where that is. That's all the barcode. Uh, and this is actually a different uh, logo. They used to have a different logo back in the day, like a few years ago, in like the 2010s uh, where it was, it was a different logo, I'll probably put a picture in editing of what it used to look like, but this is the new one um, now they used to sell this also actually in 3 litre bottles um, they, they used to sell 3 litres of this and uh, it was uh, about £4.20 or so I remember about 8 years ago, I remember, I used to, I used to remember getting a uh, three litre bottles of this for about £4.20. Recently I've only been able to find two and a half litre uh, bottle versions so uh, uh, maybe this is just some gun conspiracy trying to cut down on alcoholism or something, I don't know. But uh, uh, the two and a half litre version I'm getting in 2020 is uh, two and a half litres, it's 18.8 units. It cost, um, there we go, uh, £4.50. Now, I remember back in the day you used to be able to get 3 litres for £4.20 or so, but obviously because of inflation and all that, it's a bit more now for the regular amount. So, I'm uh, going to, uh, obviously because I've, you know, you can see I've really drank a lot of this, I'm going to obviously know what it tastes like, but uh, I usually mix it with like water or, or a Coke, because a couple of Pepsi bottles I usually like to mix with it, so it's, uh, but yeah, this is your, um, I don't think it's a scrumpy cider, it's just like a, just a white, it's a white cider, it's what they basically use from leftover, uh, leftover apples and that to make like a cheap cider that can, uh, and unfortunately this drink and all of the other uh, cheaper ciders have a bit of a reputation of being like, you know, homeless alcoholics uh, drink, but, um, but for me, it's just a normal drink just to uh, get drunk with, basically, because... Uh, this is what I normally do, like, this is the last uh, portion of it. Because um, I've already drank the rest off, uh, off camera. And I'll get like a bottle of uh, just water and... And just uh, mix it in here. And uh, let's see what it tastes like. <sighs> I've been kind of careful here because it's just sort of spilling everywhere. I just have to... Uh... Just 
just grabbing a uh, just piece of uh, kitchen roll just to wipe up. I just spilled right there, and uh, that usually happens with me. So, uh, so yeah, this is a typical uh, drink that obviously the you know hobos drink, and it's uh, they like to you know drink it a lot because it's. Uh, Real cheap and also real strong. And also the thing is you can actually find like uh, ciders in a similar bottle like this but they're a bit weaker but they're about five percent or so or four and a half percent but they're about similar cost so this is quite a very cheap drink for those who are on a budget and want to just uh, escape from reality for a bit and they just want to uh, they just want to uh, you, know, you know escape from life for a bit uh, and uh, this is the you know, if you're, if you're on a budget, you would uh, drink something like this. And then, uh, as I said, I'll probably put a picture of what the original Foster Jack used to look like. And, and that's what it looks like. So, uh, yeah, it, it tastes very much like, you know, it tastes a lot of apples. But uh, it's a pretty uh, pretty cheap, pretty cheap feeling. It's uh, quite hard, hard to down. But, uh, and it's, uh, and it's uh, aftertaste is pretty uh, bitter. But, uh it, it goes down well if you're um, just looking just to get drunk on cheapest possible budget really as I said uh, you know I'm filming this when I've almost drank a two and a half litre bottle so I've already drank close to 20 units in this evening but um, but because I've been abusing alcohol for years 20 units just gets me uh, tipsy doesn't get me drunk just gets me uh, pretty tipsy so uh, so uh, yeah, so that's my review of uh, Frosty Jack cider. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty good if you just want to get drunk on a real cheap budget. And about when I finish this drink, I'll be onto the uh, Bulmers and the uh, the sours. So yeah, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Uh, we're back. Now, uh, now the next second review, second uh, drink we're going to be in today's episode of wine reviews is uh, Bulmer's cider uh, crushed red berries and lime. <coughs> Pan me. This is a uh, this is a bottle cider. I got this particular one from a local shop, which said that it was uh, going out of date. So I uh, yeah got it up for real cheap. I only paid a pound for this bottle. It's uh, it's, uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice. This uh, kind of focus back in 1887, Fred and Percy uh, Bulmer. They um, blah blah blah. They made this cider from a bunch of stuff. There's 500 milliliters in this bottle. It's two UK units, which is basically nothing to me because I'm uh, obviously my, it says obviously don't drink while dr drive while drinking and don't drink if you're pregnant. Oh, obviously I'm a guy, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, it says here it expires 29th of February 2020, and it's currently the 5th of March when I'm recording this, so that's why I got this for a real cheap, so uh, obviously the barcode and it recommends recycling and all that shit, so I'm just going to crack it open. This is my uh, you know, little, uh, little uh, Thing to crack it open. Let's put this thing out of it. There we go. It's uh, cracked open. Throw the thing out. Let's pour a bit of it in here. Let's just fill the whole thing because this is pretty weak stuff anyway. See how much it uh, fills up. <sighs> Bottle's empty now. I uh, got the last bit of it. And here is our Bulmer's crushed red berries and lime. Let's see how it tastes. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, 
Pardon me, I didn't really take any any breath in while I drank that. Yeah, this is a very this is a very tasty cider actually. It uh, does what it says in the bottle. It basically does taste of berries. They're pr I'm pretty sure they're like strawberries or uh, cranberries or so. But it tastes like apparently it's crushed berries, red berry. It's crushed red berries and lime. Um, but when I uh, I'm doing it right here, it tastes mostly of just. Uh, Cranberries also. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's very delicious. It's very um, very nice cider. Cause if you don't get a good cider, it's uh, I'm so I've heard from some of my friends that it tastes very very bad. It tastes like uh, piss. Basically, it tastes like urine. But this is this is a very nice. This is a very nice cider. It tastes very very very, very well. I'd I'd recommend this for all your homies who. Um, Go to all the house parties and just want to have a good fun on on a nice uh, cheap drink that tastes a lot of uh, of uh, nice uh, nice berries, nice uh, fruity flavored, and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's very good considering that I got this for cheap. That it was about five days out of date. I said 29th of uh, leap day actually, uh, February 2019, and it's about 5th of March when I'm recording this. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's, a very, it's a very good cider. I'll be back. Right, I'll be back in in a minute or so when I record. I want to finish this and we'll on to our final drink of this episode of wine reviews, which is Sour's Apple. All right, now we're back onto the, the final part uh, where I'm reviewing uh, Sour's. Here it's called uh, Sour's Apple. I've got my little uh, tasting glass right here. Now let's just go over the uh, the Sour's uh, thing. It cost me nine pound fourteen uh, nine, as it says right here. This is quite a special drink, really, because it costs so much nine pound forty, but it only contains ten point five UK units. That's almost a pound per unit right here. So this must be some special shit, if you know what I mean. It must be special shit if you have to fucking pay that much for it. It's uh, it's a liqueur, I believe. It's like a shot thing that you would take. Um, I just need to see how m what, what percentage it is. Uh, let's see if my camera will focus. It's 10.5 UK units in the whole bottle. Not points. Uh, my camera will fucking focus. Come on. Fuck is you son of a bitch. Not point, not point uh, for UK units per 25 milliliter serving. The usual, uh, you know, you can't drink so many units per day. Fuck you. I drink more than that. I drink more than my weekly recommended units in a whole day if I want to. Uh, you know, fucking uh, where it's made and a bunch of stuff in Greek. Same as uh, it says, uh, you know, where it was made in like uh, Greece or so. This is it's it's fifteen percent volume. You know, alcohol volume. So it's a bit stronger than wine. A couple percent stronger than wine, especially in my last review. Uh, and it's sweet and sour liqueur, 70, 70 uh, centiliters. And yeah, we're, I've got my uh, little uh, Amsterdam uh, shot glass here that I've uh, that I got when I uh, went to Amsterdam uh, about three or four months ago. I went to Amsterdam a few months ago with my uh, mates. There we go, finally got the top off, and I'm going to pour into my chopped glass and see how it is. There's, there's lots of several flavours of these sours, by the way. Um, I just have to pick up the one I could find uh, as the most common, which is the apple flavour. Pour it in here. So there's a shot right there. And let's see how it is. Fucking bit of spill right there. Yeah, the, the, the tastes like very apple. It's it's very high. Um, tastes a lot of apple. I guess that's kind of the point of this drink. But uh, yeah, it's very very it's very sour appley sort of flavour. If you if you were given like a candy apple, I'd load a load of toffee on it, and you were asked to buy into the centre of the uh, of the of the uh, apple, then you said, oh, this tastes like a sour apple, and and uh, and that's what. They said it tastes like this is what this tastes like. So uh, I'm gonna pour another shot here, I'm fucking up the uh, of how I take the shot. 
<sighs> so yeah, um, it's a, yeah, it, it tastes very sour apple flavour. As the name suggests, it's sour as apple, and uh, yeah, I definitely like it. I definitely, it's a very it's a taste I could very much get behind. It's um, it's definitely quite a party drink, you know. Like if you were um, if you went to a house party with a bunch of your friends, and you just wanted a party trick to uh, get all the uh, all the boys and girls, you know, high, and and and, yeah, and you wanted to have your party trick to uh, you know something to drink uh, I recommend this there's a lot of other flavors of this uh, particular sours one the, uh, the apple one just what I'm to find I said it cost me uh, uh, sorry, that's just my e-cigarette uh, yeah nine pound 49 I know that don't say far but it is was when I bought it So yeah, if you want a nice pie drink, it's uh... so that concludes this episode of uh, of wine reviews. I did uh, Frosty Jack, uh, Bulmerton's, uh, the Bulmer's uh, crushed ber red and crushed red berries and lime. I did uh, Frosty Jack cider and uh, Sour's uh, apple. So yeah, the, that's the episode of Wine Reviews, hope you enjoyed, um, I hope it's giving you some uh, information on the new, uh, <coughs> new booze to check out, and then, uh, yeah, uh, that's it for this episode, I have to uh, go and sober up now, so uh, that's why I, I did this so that I got drunk so I could, you know, review these boot these, um, these items of booze to uh, get drunk and review them, so... Yeah, that's this episode of Wine Reviews and from my son 190 and uh, I'll see you later in the, in the next episode. Uh, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>